Hello guys and welcome back. So now we're going to take a look and see how we can use the uh, extra passes that we've created to color correct this image. Um, I'm going to try and color correct it based on its depth. We're going to see how to add a fake fog and probably do some cool gradient uh, to add some extra lighting starting from the ground all the way up uh, or any any direction we want really. So uh, what we've provided what we've done in the render is we turned on uh, P, P, Z, and N, and that gives us access to these three AUVs, P, Z, which is the depth, P, which is the position of the points, and then N, which is the normals. But if we zoom in closer on this, you can see there's uh, edge artifacts. So it's unusable. Uh, we're going to quickly get uh, edge issues there. So what we need is we need to do a second render or create a new AUVs where we can um, where we can uh, uh, get proper anti-aliased passes P and N and P uh, Z. And the way to do that is by going in the render node and we're going to create a new passes uh, one called N. This is the name. The list is uh, cut out but the name is all the way up uh, for n and sorry for n uh, p and pc and as soon as you click it's going to add this pixel filter okay if we go up here it says the pixel filter used by the main image is this the gaussian um, dash w this is the width basically and the reason it sets this because uh, in some cases you would want that pass uh, un anti-aliased so you get uh, correct values. And what anti-aliasing does, it's going to blend in uh, the values between the various pixels. In in this in our case, we want the we want that filter. We want the exact precise result. And so what we need to do is we need to change the filter pixel filter for all these uh, extra AUVs to be Gaussian dash uh, two to match the render that we had. So I'm going to copy that paste it here and then I turned off all the lights in this render. So I removed all the lights. I reduced the uh, limit reflection limit to uh, zero so it it doesn't compute any reflection and then I saved the, the file to disk as a separate pass. We could have done this in the same uh, in the same pass. Okay so let's import this uh, passes file. So it's here. Let's take a look at that. And it contains only the three AUVs that we need. So if we look at N, you can see it's perfect. I mean, there's still some edge issues, but there's nothing that we can do about that. This is the pass that we're interested in, the PZ and the P. As you can see, they're properly in tier list and we can use them. Cool. So uh, we wanted to do some color correction based on the depth for this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the PZ into the the color so here I'm going to create a channel copy I'm going to move the PZ I'm going to move the target AC and the source is PZ and if we gain the image down we see that we have the Z which is the depth basically so let's uh, put down a bright node Cool, something like that. And then let's invert this image so we get the inverse, basically. Cool. And we can put down a gamma node and gain it down so we only have this area. And now I'm going to add a color correction, color correct node. I'm going to connect that here. And I'm going to connect the second input as the mask. Now, one thing I'd like to do is if we middle click, this will show us the um, data about the image. You can see there's all these AUVs available. I don't need them. I just need the color at this point. So I'm going to put down a delete node. I'm going to set the scope to C. Uh, it's going to, right now, it's going to delete C and keep everything else. You see, it's C is gone. I'm going to do uh, delete non-selected, basically, non-scope, plane, and components. And so now we're, we've deleted everything uh, except C. Okay, let's go here, and let's try and gain this image down. 
and in the mask I'm gonna go under the mask here it says mask input I'm, instead of a I'm gonna change it to C dot R and that would be the red channel of this input okay let's turn this on and off and you can see it's using that gradient and we can increase the amount you see it it's traveling all the way in and we can reduce it so I just need a little bit of darkening here so the center can become brighter with this cool so let's uh, continue we can take this result as well and use it to fake the some fog so I'm going to add a color correct node and I'm gonna multiply this uh, to have an orange color and I'm gonna add a gamma node and push it in so I only have it there and I'm gonna simply merge this using an add mode so let's add it in and see how it looks cool okay let's try and do uh, the inverse of this I want to add another fog it's probably too much so let's yeah something like that I want to add another haze uh, using this image Okay, so I'm going to copy this color correct node. I'm going to give this one a blue tint. And probably going to reduce the amount of uh, depth and stuff like that. So let's add a gamma node. And I'm going to use this guy instead. And I'm going to uh, brighten it down a lot I just need a slight hint a touch of uh, fog in there that's all cool and now we can also do uh, some more cool stuff using the P pass itself so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna shuffle the P pass and you see it's uh, super bright now so if we gain it down and we have red green and blue so red is left to right the x-axis y-axis and the z-axis so uh, I want to use the y-axis to add uh, some color correction based on the height so here I'm gonna shuffle after we shuffle the P I'm gonna add another shuffle to shuffle the P dot y or the yeah the p dot p dot y I don't need this one I just need this guy so we're shuffling the height uh, into this pass I'm going to brighten it down I'm going to uh, brighten shift and this will basically move the range of the image. something like that I actually maybe we can invert this and get some cool mask in that dark dark area yeah I think this is this is better um, you can see we're creating some kind of haze now and that that's the effect I was looking for cool. let's add another bright node tune this down and yeah, let's try let's add a color correction and see how it looks added to the original image and we're looking at the green only so let's change that and let's see how this looks like Cool. I definitely like this uh, this part being lit because it was a little bit bothering and you can see it's affecting everything let's try and change the shift the hue yeah, I like the white I like the yellow version and I'm gonna brighten it down 
cool. And one cool thing that we could do is we can add some uh, some glows to this pass. And let me move it. Let me move it down. And maybe this side. And I'm going to add a, a blur node. I'm going to blur this like that. And I'm going to copy this blur and do it a few more times. So I'm going to create different blurs. So 100, 200. Okay, and let's make sure the image is uh, clipped. So I'm going to add a limit node just in case there is some bad values. And let's layer all this together. with the original image and let's uh, change it the mode to add you can see now we're creating some kind of haze effect on top of all of this let's add it cool and it's desaturated a bit and maybe brighten it down yeah, cool so something like that I don't have a clear idea where I'm going with this so I just want to show you uh, I wanted to show you the technical part of all this so the next thing I want to do is I want to add some uh, chroma abrasion to this image and maybe some gain desaturated a bit to make it look more like a photo something like that and for the chroma abrasion it, the idea is we want to shift the red green and blue uh, separately and to do that we first have to shuffle each component into uh, uh, in its own so we're going to shuffle the C of the first C red uh, C dot R for the red channel into C call this red and then this blue uh, green hit save make sure I think it's good okay and this is blue and let's add a channel copy because we want to merge this back in combine them so I'm gonna connect uh, do this I'll explain in a second and the first one is going to be C dot R and it's coming from the first input dot R the second one is going to be C dot green and it's coming from the second input dot green. And let's do this. Let's add a delete node and delete everything except C. Okay. And so it's easier to see and read. And then the blue is coming from the third input dot blue. Now we're back to the original state. We didn't change anything, but now we have access to each one of them. And I'm going to add a transform node. And I'm going to scale this image along the Z, uh, the X axis. So it's stretching it this way. And let's take a look here. And I'm interested in these corners because that's where we see the shift happening the most. Cool. I think that's enough. Let's try the same thing for the green channel, but this time I'm going to push it in, so 0.999, just a small shift, and then the same for the blue channel, but I'm going to move it outwards, so let's try 5, okay, so that's a lot of shifting, you see the center still gets some shifting, but it's not as much and that's basically what we want so I'm gonna reduce this to 2 this guy to 3 and this guy to 1 I'm not gonna change the green yep that's it and we can add uh, another gradient overall and, and as a mask basically so let, to make the center more exposed so let's do that. Let's create a ramp. And it is a radial ramp. And let's make sure the input is 
720. It's, uh, sorry, concentric, that's the type we want. And let's invert this. Cool. And let's add a color correction node. And let's multiply, or yeah, let's try and multiply. And then in the mask, I'm going to use <clears throat> the mask input C dot R for the red channel. And I don't need the invert, actually. <coughs> Pardon me. And you can see now it's darkening everything except the center. And we can go even darker if we wanted to. Or something like that. And I think that's pretty much it for, for the compositing. Uh, this is our final image. I do have another high-res version rendering. If it finished now, we'll uh, take a look at that. It's still going. Cool. I think that's pretty much it. Um, we could do... Sorry, I forgot. We could do one last thing. We can add a grain here to noise it up a little bit. Something like that. Cool. I think this is uh, our final result. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.